are you? What do you want? Why are you here? These are not questions that you should be able to answer about yourself, but they are questions that you need to be able to answer about your brand. I'm Megan Schmidt, a senior writer here at Descript, and if you don't have brand guidelines yet, then you're watching the right video. Brand guidelines exist to make your brand recognizable. They should help you create a unique identity that'll stand out from the competitors. Here are just three key aspects you should keep in mind when getting started. Number one, brand story. People wanna know who you are and what you have to offer. This is where your brand story comes in. It's often considered the heart of your brand. What's your vision? What's your mission? Use your brand story to spark an emotion with your customers. Number two, visual identity. This is what people see when they think about your brand. It includes several key elements, such as a logo, which is a simple visual to describe your brand's personality, a color palette, so a range of colors that you use in your design elements, typography, any specific font families you use, and imagery, such as photos, illustrations, even symbols. And number three, verbal identity. This is how you communicate in writing. Try to keep in mind voice and tone. So if your brand was a character, how would that character sound? Are they funny? Are they smart? Are they serious? And word choice. Any specific guidance around words to use or avoid. For example, here at Descript, we're not allowed to say <laughs> Make sure your brand guidelines work across all mediums, whether it's web, in-app, social media, billboards, whatever. And also be as specific as possible to get everyone on the same page. 